Chris Hampson back in action. And that result really, really hurt him. His only chance of qualification was Ian Alley getting over the line in that final minute of that match to secure a draw. And that really would have put the cat among the pigeons. But as you saw, Ian Alley broke dry. And Chris Hampson and his chances of qualification went away with that. So Chris Hampson here just playing for a win. And a potential uh, third spot in the group table. And there are ranking points available for this event. And for players like Chris Hampson, who are brand new, playing for absolutely every point they can get. There's something on this match for sure. Ian Alley must win. And the good news for him and Ian Alley fans, of which there are plenty, is that Greg Batten must get it done in the final match of the night. And the player he's playing is Jack Whelan. And so it all is not done yet. No, it's, it's far from done yet. It really is. Isn't it amazing that Chris has come across his break pretty much all night long and not hit them particularly well. This time he flushed it, squared the key ball up and still ended up with no friends out there. The break really can drive you mad. Just. <clears throat> you know, he was already walking around on his next shot. Just had to will that one to drop. Doesn't want that yellow to become a problem here. Yeah, it just drifts by it. Just means this next positional shot's slightly trickier. Needs to know his natural. Is he hitting the yellow or is he avoiding the yellow? Pace he plays it at affects it as well. And he's avoiding it. Hit that one, though. And now you really have to know your angles, because he is in big bother. One cushion, middle pocket, the target. Middle pocket, the target. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ian Alley, that's a bit special. What a recovery this is from the fave. That really is fantastic. Pocket weight. Absolutely perfect. 